Hey what's up guys hope you all are doing absolutely great and welcome back to another video and it's been a couple of weeks maybe I made one video using MacBook Air 2017 for photo editing on Adobe Photoshop and on that video there are some comments regarding Adobe Lightroom honestly speaking I never use Lightroom as my primary editing software and I don't have so much experience with Adobe Lightroom so it's been two days I'm just using the Lightroom learning a little about Lightroom because it's a little different than Adobe Photoshop and I'm not a huge photo editor like I'm not a wedding photo editor or I'm not a sports photo editor who edits hundreds of photos at a row I edit one or two photos like maybe four and five photos that is the maximum I made my YouTube thumbnails Instagram posts Facebook posts and that is what exactly I do some photo manipulations but Adobe Lightroom is more over for those people who just edits dozens of photos like wedding photography photos or uh, sports photography photos it can do a lot in the color grading but it cannot do manipulation other things like Photoshop so today in this video we are going to test MacBook Air 2017 for Adobe be Lightroom and I have 10 high resolution not the raw photo very high resolution photo and we're gonna edit all of the 10 photos on Adobe Lightroom and we'll see how responsive Adobe Lightroom works on this MacBook Air 2017 because I think people are interested in buying MacBook Air 2017 because it is the cheapest Mac that anyone can buy if someone wants a MacBook so it will be really interesting to use Adobe Lightroom on this device so let's go and let's use Adobe Lightroom edit all those 10 photos export all the 10 photos and let's see how well does it work already done so we are inside of our computer and here you can see that we have a Lightroom folder let's go inside of Lightroom folder and here you can see I have 10 photos over here and all of them are pretty big size like 8 MB 9 MB photos like these photos are very very good quality so we are gonna edit all of these 10 photos in Adobe Lightroom and we are gonna export all of them inside Adobe Lightroom and we'll see how good Lightroom works exactly on this photo so let's go and launch Lightroom and we are going inside of it and let's see how long does it take we don't need Wi-Fi exactly not for me I really never enjoy Lightroom that much because we can exactly do the same things on Adobe Photoshop and I don't think Lightroom worth for me exactly but if you are like wedding photographer or things like that you shoot a lot of photos then Lightroom is for you see let me show you scrubbing all the photos footages and here you can see it's a little laggy over here can you see it's a little laggy but it's usable somehow but I don't understand why it is much more laggy than Adobe Photoshop I think it's for the catalog system like it's an old system of uh, putting all the photos inside of the stores maybe I really don't know anyway let's go and edit our number one photo let's go and make okay. exposure minus 85 contrast Here is the before and here is the after you can see I think it looks amazing okay let's go for the next one um, a little a little exposure down all the greens should be in the teal sections where it looks a little dramatic and I'm also using the screen recording consider that thing also in your mind because the screen recording usually takes a little bit of uh, hit or miss on the view and let's see what is the temperature going on the temperature is 74 degrees Celsius right now and it's also pretty warm yeah pretty warm and I'm also using the battery and the device is pretty warm right now all right so that was the before and after that is okay let's go for the next one let's hide this one I just want a very short color grading over here because I just want to make the temperature a little And that is the before and after photo all right let's go for the next one and I'm just trying to edit all the photos as soon as possible not putting so much effort on the photos we just want to see how well does this works contrast want to do a little noise reduction in every photo because it's really necessary for most of the photos and I think it looks good but I just want to keep all the YOLOs right now in comparison the YOLOs just gives me a little extra vibe so let's keep all of the YOLOs over here all right that is done fifth photo and give them a little highlight vibe and the white vibe all right so here is the before and here's the after you can see this photo looks much more better than this one over here let's go for the sixth one and and 
that is the before and after photo and here you can see it looks much much better over here all right let's go for the next one see the before and after and it looks really really good let's go for the next one this photo is also done already and it looks all right very good let's go for the next one and it is very dark photo and i think i'm gonna keep it dark because i just want to make it a little moody vibes like a ghost hunting type And here is our ninth photo and it's already done i just want to add a little bit of noise reduction because every photo needs a little noise reduction and this photo is already really gorgeous but let's just make it a little i think that is perfectly fine with this photo over here you can see that was the before and that is the after all right let's go and export all of these 10 photos over here we have already edited all of these 10 photo and export all right let's go for export desktop uh subfolder all right let's go and export all of these 10 photos and exporting 10 files let's see how long does it take and right now the time is 5 21 and exporting 10 files All right, the task completed i think it took just only over one minute for editing all the 10 photos so i think it's really really great that it can edit 10 photos in one minute so if you have hundreds of photos it will take for 10 minutes so it's really great and amazing in my opinion but scrubbing on this application is a little hard because if you are using lightroom over here you can see all the photos take a little while like i have uh, edited all of the photos over here you can see when i'm just changing all the photos scrubbing through the applications it is a little choppy and a little laggy and you just need to consider that thing on your mind because it will feel much more choppy and laggy when you have 100 photos than 10 photos over here as i have all right let me show you uh, all of the photos that i just exported right now here you can see all of the photos i have exported let me go and short by name and let me put all of the photos on my download folder so here are the 10 photos that I have just edited for you guys to showcase Adobe Lightroom's performance on MacBook Air 2017 version and here is the original, here is the after one, here is the original, here is the after edited one, here is the original, after edited, original, after edited, original and after edited, original and after edited here is the original one and here is the after edited one and this one is my favorite pick because it looks really really interesting here is the original here is the after edited one it's really really great here is the original one here is the after edited one here is the original here is the after edited one and lightroom is a little okayish on this device but not so smooth that you can just scrub through and use it amazing all right hope you guys really enjoyed whatever i have shown you i have tried my best to showcase the adobe lightroom's features on macbook air 2017 or how good or bad the adobe lightroom works on macbook air and if you guys liked how adobe lightroom works on macbook air then definitely subscribe definitely press the bell icon and if you have something else on your mind then definitely comment on i'm also going to review affinity photo and affinity designer because those are really competitive for adobe photoshop and adobe illustrators so if you want to watch all of them definitely subscribe anyway that was all for this one and yeah that was all goodbye